everybody. It's Quaker Wood ACG coming to you on Monday. It is 445 and I am, I was looking at the mail and I thought, I'm going to vlog real quick. And then, you know, you start doing all this stuff and it's like, oh, why did I decide to vlog and do this at the same time? So anyway, um, I just wanted to come in real quickly. Um, I was up point, I was up two pounds today. Um, but yesterday, whenever I got home, I mean, I traveled since last week and then, um, I ate good. I didn't, I haven't had, had carbs and sugar and all of that sort of stuff. But anyway, um, I'm not going to worry about it. I am debating. I think, God, my hair is just like, yeah. Anyway, I've just been debating on the P plan interruption and, or staying on P3. So today I went ahead and, um, I watched, um, Chica's vlog on breaks and all of that sort of stuff, and that was really good. And then I had a long conversation with two awesome, awesome gals, and we were talking about how you know taking the breaks and how important it is, and just like Chica's vlog was talking about. So today, I think I'm just going to stick with my P3, stand it till January, and then um, start. Probably around the 7th-ish, I'm looking about my year time, is I'll have between 5, 10 pounds to get off to get at my goal. I mean, I would so like to be there. So like to be there. But this is this was part of our conversation, and this is one thing that I've been thinking about. And, you know, tell me what you think. But, you know, people will say... Oh my gosh, you look so different. Whenever I got to Odessa Midland, saw my parents, I hadn't seen my brother in a year. I haven't seen my my youngest daughter in a long, long time. And they were like, oh my gosh, you look like a different person. Even through here, you look like a different person. And today I look so tired. I haven't been sleeping at all. But anyway, so I think that um, I don't have that in my mind. I don't see that. I see I see smaller, but people say, you're so thin. I don't see thin. So I think what I need to do is I think I need to stabilize, maintain, and get that in my brain of let, let yourself try to catch up to where you are because I, I don't even see it. I mean, it's five or ten pounds, and that's it to be at my goal. So... Um, do I want to do another round? No. I've even thought, eat really clean, eat clean, but, you know, I'll just see how everything goes. I have enough HCG to do about, oh my gosh, mine are 40 days. I've probably got eight, six or eight boxes left, so I'll just see what I'm going to do. Um, I went and bought a pair of jeans today. I brought, I, I posted on the Facebook page. I bought bras yesterday. I bought two. I've never had anything from Victoria's Secret. And then I bought that, it, the HCG Boutique. I bought the Victoria's Secret sweatpants and sweatshirt. Never done that before. And so I, I went to Victoria's Secret and got them to fit me for a bra. And I was wearing a 40 to a 42. The one I had on yesterday is a 42C. And, um... And um, I got 36C bras. So the cup size didn't change, so I was pretty glad about that. But um, I was shocked. You know, you're just shocked. You just, you try on stuff that's too big. So the other day I told my husband I, I went to, I don't know if y'all have Kato's, but, you know, it's just little cheapy kind of things. But I went to Kato's because I, I have sent a lot of jeans away, and I, I still need jeans. But so I went, and they had a pair of skinny jeans. Skinny jeans, my legs are very small. But skinny jeans fit my legs better than anything. And um, um, I just picked up the only pair they had and the lot ones I like were size 10. So I picked them up and I just got them. Well, I, I'll show you real quick. And I don't know. But if you look at them, they're, they're, still, they're still big. So it was like, I don't know. So I went in today and I tried on an 8 and it was like, and I tried on a six, so I ended up buying a six. I've never done that in my life, and it's so weird. It's so weird. They're a little stretchy, but anyway, um, and I wanted to explain something really quickly about my vlog, my Debbie Downer vlog. Um, let me just, I just want to give you a little bit of background, just if you don't know. So my daughter, which I love, I'm, I, I was talking about grandchildren, but 
the reason that I was talking about grandchildren, we, we got off on that discussion, but that's really not what the problem is. Is for you that know, just go, oh, for you that don't, um, I was married for six years, and this has been three years ago. I was married for six years to my second husband, and uh, my youngest daughter and him had an affair for five out of the six years we were married. And then they got married. So in Ju July, my son-in-law is my ex-husband. And so whenever I said I looked at my a picture of my ex-husband, it's because that's my, my daughter's husband. So I looked at a picture of him, and I mean, he looked like Porky Pig with a beard. It was so weird. And so, you know, what got me so down about all of that was this, is that she was talking about karma and, you know, how if something happened to her, if he died or she died or whatever, then it was the karma and that, you know, um, that's what, you know, whatever happens is what they deserve. Now, that hurt more than anybody will ever know to have my daughter and my husband sleeping together for five years. I mean, it was so painful. But you know what? I do not wish any harm on him or her. I really don't. I really don't. And whenever she was talking to me about all that, it hurt my heart so bad because I don't, you know, whenever, when it's your child and, you know, or even him, I don't, I don't care about him. I don't love him. I don't, it's nothing to do with that. It is just, you know, do we get what we deserve? Sometimes in life we do. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes, you know, but that's not my, that's not my thing to determine what it is. And she said, you know, I'll never be able to have kids, but that she always, she always loved babies when she was a little girl and in high school, that's all she ever talked about was having a family. And so, you know, when she was talking about not ever having children and that's what she deserves, you know, it's so hard, you know, she said, I'm sorry that you'll never be a grandmother for me. And I'm sorry, you know, and it's like, you know, I'm sorry that you feel this way, but I just want you to go on with life. Go on with life. Be as happy as you can be and stop worrying about uh, everything that bad, anything that bad happens, it's, that's what you deserve. Because it's done and it's over. We've both gone on with life. I'm married. She's married, you know, and I, I can't. I can't change what happened and you know I think that if she was happy that that's great if she's not happy I think she feels like she has to stay in something because she's because that's what she deserves so anyway you know we all go through things of not being happy or I mean every day we go through stuff of not being happy and or, or being um, depressed or whatever and how easy is it for us to, I've told you all this before, I have to look at food today in my life. Now, I'm not saying in a year it'll be different or six months it'll be different, but I have to look at food in my life as like an alcoholic. I have to be really careful of what I do because I, I don't, I don't, I can't say that I trust myself to just go eat a bunch of stuff because, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't want to go there. I just don't because I don't want to keep doing this over and over and over and over. I want it to be over. I want to get to my goal and I want to learn how to eat right and cook right and have alternative things to eat. You know, um, there's some people that inspire me so much and um, they've done it. They keep it off. They work, you know. Uh, Chica and Lori, H-E-G Crazy, and Fluffy, and Susie, and Gima, that's Donna Fredericks, and um, Social Plum, you know, there's just a group of people that you you just look up to them, and, and they inspire you so much, because you know what, I, and I don't think any of us just want to carry this weight and keep dieting over and over and over and over. So my emotional baggage, I was watching Lori's blog the other day about emotional baggage and no, it was Chica when she, when she did that one about, you know, how we have to unpack things. And this journey has been a huge journey for me because, you know, I started it 
um, somebody asked me what I started at. I'm 5'4". I started at 200, and my first weight on for HCG was 204.6, so right at 205. And then my, but right before that, I was about 210. And um, I didn't think I was fat. I didn't think I was heavy. I didn't think all that, you know. And you, you still see yourself in that view, so I'm working on that. But the reason I wanted to tell you all the stuff about my daughter, so just kind of where you understood, it wasn't necessarily about the grandchildren. It was about everything that went along with that. And it was so hard, you know, because I love my daughter. I don't care what she's done. I don't care where she's, you know, I don't care. I love Sugarbug. I love her. And uh, I just want, um, you know, we always want the best for our kids, even if, even, even regardless of what happens. So, anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys, because that's kind of where I am today. I'm just kind of getting over, you know, that little hump. And, um, anyway, I love you all so, so, so very much. I hope you realize and understand that I do care about this community so much and about what goes on with each person. And, um, anyway, I'm going to go and figure out what I'm going to eat for supper because I don't know. And uh, I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye. I got to find a little thing.